Hello, it's Melinda with Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. <coughs> Coming on today, well, as you can see from the title, I went op shopping again. It's all Alexis's fault. I can blame Alexis, can't I? She had an afternoon activity and I have an hour and a half to kill. So I decided to go an op shop. I don't get to very rarely. Um, and I found this. I just love the picture on the front. The picture on the front is awesome. Sherlock Holmes, the card game. It doesn't, it looks vintage, but it doesn't look really vintage. I couldn't find a date on it. It was only a dollar, which really surprised me. Okay, a date. 1991, so not that... Oh, 20, be 27 years old. Oh, okay. I don't know what the class is vintage, but it has the instructions in it. I have read through the instructions, and it does seem a bit difficult to play. So I didn't really buy it to play, but I bought it for the cards. So aren't these awesome with all these old sort of images on them? So they're all the same on the back, which is just the picture of Sherlock Holmes. And then you've got different cards for different things. So I was reading through it and it does sound a bit difficult. It's in like really good nick. It's in like almost perfect nick. Uh, perfect nick. Oh, I sound English. Um, perfect condition. So they will be fun to share um, and play with in journals, in some vintage journals. But I just, the, the box just got me. The box is just beautiful. The cover, the colours, the, I have to make a Sherlock Holmes album. I don't know, I just, it just spoke to me and said come home. Gisborne Games is a good games company too. And even the back is really cool. And for a dollar. I thought, why not? The other thing I found was, this was 50 cents, pretty expensive for a pattern. Um, I, I just loved the look of it. It was so old, old looking. I was looking for a date on this one, but couldn't find one. But it's only a single size, so usually they're multi-sizes nowadays. So it's actually got... So usually nowadays you get like this tissue paper with the lines on it which is different things. These ones have got little holes in them. Like, so older people that sew might be older people that sew. I'm sorry, that was a bit, um, <laughs> a bit terrible. People that were sewing years ago could possibly give me an ear of this is from. Because this is how your pattern comes. So your pieces are like punched out number 10. And all your holes, I'm assuming, match up with other holes on other pieces. Um... Which was fun. I just loved the outside of it. She was there wasn't any price on it. She was going to charge me a dollar, and I said no, it's a bit expensive. I'm only going to chop it up. Um, but this is just awesome. So it'd be interesting if any of my crafters are um, sewers from back in the day. It'd be interesting to see what era this is from. With those sort of patterns, with the holes punched out, obviously before printing on the patterns. But I just loved the cover. I thought the cover was really cool. I do have a lot of dress patterns of the ones that have the printed black on them, but that one was just different. I might do some googling to see what sort of era we're looking at. Not that it really matters, I was just fascinated because it was different. I'm getting the package. Then I found this. This was really cool. This is one of my top finds. Um, this is actually a, a stack of envelopes that you turn into letters. T-top twinings, never heard of them, but it said $17 on the back. It was $2. Um, it says it's supposed to have 40 in it, 40 sheets, but I think I counted 27. But these are actually envelopes <coughs> that you write on, and then it's got the lick and steal, lick and seal stuff that you um, uh, lick and seal to close the envelope. So there's five different designs, so that's one design. That's two. I love this true design. I thought I could photocopy these as well. That's a third design. Oops. So it's all based around owls, and I thought it was just absolutely gorgeous for $2. And this one's cute too, and I think we're back to the first design. We are too. So I counted there's 27 out of the 40 that's in there. So a good, a good buy for $2. I used to see a lot of this sort of stuff when I was a girl back. I don't give away my age, aren't I? Um, let's say 20 to 30 to 40 years ago. Um when letter writing was really big and you'd write on this bit more like an airmail envelope and then the the letter and the envelope were the same piece of paper and then didn't cost you much to send it out 
but that is awesome. Even the packaging is awesome. Make a good template for a pen, um, good template for a um, envelope. Oh my god, words today. Then I got two far folders. These are from. These look like typo ones. I may be corrected. Don't forget. Oh, maybe they're reject shop ones. They were fifty cents each. I'll be expensive for far folders, but I love the graphic pattern on this one. And don't forget to be awesome. I thought I would turn these into a couple of albums. And I love the wood grain or the basket weave on this one. So they were 50 cents each. Again, a bit expensive. They might. They're either reject shop ones or typo ones. I don't know. I've seen them before somewhere. I don't know where. But that were some fire folders. Then I got this, which was really cool. This, I love the box for it as well. This was $2. Again, it didn't have a price on it. So it's corrugated. I'm going to make this into a um, album as well. But inside, I'll grab it out with some stuff. So I can make this into a book somehow by cutting off, cutting off that middle bit, I think. So I might even do a tutorial on that or show you the process of it because that might become a new art journal because I just love it. So it's a Monarch Business Cards, it says on the top. Quantity 50 sheets so but in the set is some envelopes and they've all got this design on it which like is a marbled a marble design so there's cards and paper so there's card uh, envelopes with the lick and stick so they're quite old as well because you don't get the lick and stick much anymore and that's them on the back so they're like business size envelopes and then I think it's supposed to be like a business set and then you get some letter paper quite a bunch there I don't know how many is supposed to be there but again it's got the print on it and then I grabbed it for these I thought these were sticky labels to start with there's this sheet obviously you can size it up in the computer I thought these were sticky labels to start with but they're not they're like print your own business cards at home so these are perforated and they're like business size cards so I thought they would be fun to mix media over the top of and um, there's a bunch of them and use the cards for best results fold back and forth and along the perforated lines but there is like huge amounts of those and I'll be sharing some of those because I can't necessarily use all of them myself because I'd be using them till the cows come home but I thought even in junk journals they'd be really cool and then I was looking through the books and I come across this book Decapage Designs a scrapbook for Decapage images so I love the two images on the front, so I might be utilising those. I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to cut this book up or whether I'm going to scan it and reproduce the images. So it has a whole bunch of, and they're all single sided, just, and it has where the image is sort of from on this side. So I thought these would be fun to cut out and use on things, so I think I will be photocopying this. We'll see how it photocopies, because it's a sort of a bit glossy. This is beautiful, these sort of... Things. Getting a Nick Mill vintage, I don't do vintage a lot, but I like liking vintage lately. I love the little dolls. I thought these would look good as like these cut out would look really cool. And there's a fair few of those different ones and teddies and more teddies. This is just beautiful. Like as background paper in a journal or something. So I won't flip through every page, but I did have a few more favourites. I'll just see where I can find them. That one again's got really cut out. Not some of them are nice, got cut out ability. I love the flowers. Like this could be a panel in an art journal. Um, it's beautiful. There's a couple at the back that I liked. Where are they? Oh, the pansies are gorgeous. You can cut those out as well. So this was only, I think it was only two dollars. Oh, this. I love these pages. This is Victorian. I like this sort of vintage. Um, the Victorian ladies and this, even though they're a bit small to sit there and fussy cut. They'd be good for ATCs and things, and this is cute too. The animals. I thought these would be nice to see if I can enlarge a bit and have my own found families. And that one as well, I might be able to try to enlarge. So we'll see what I can do. If I can get a good scanned image of it, I can use and manipulate it on my computer. And last but not least, <coughs> I was debating whether to show this book, but I will show it and see if the person that I had in mind will like it to be added to their pile because there's really no point sending it to this certain person if they're not going to get use out of it 
Should I show you the book or should I keep a secret? No, I'll show you the book. And you can probably guess who I am ha have in mind. Okay, have a guess who I've got in mind. Yes, Amanda, our lovely friend Amanda Christina. I know she likes Doctor Who. So I was wondering, Amanda, if you'd like me to... It was only a dollar, so it's no biggie if you don't like it. If you would like me to put this into your happy mail pile, um, let me know. But I loved or into the pile that you've got accumulating at my house that needs to be shipped to your house. Um, I just love the imagery in it. I'll give you a bit of a quick flip through of the images. So let me know, Amanda. If not, I'll find another home for it. But I think you do... If I can remember, you do like Doctor Who. It's one of them. You like Doctor Who or Star Trek or something or other. Um, I just love the imagery. The imagery is gorgeous. Wouldn't it make an awesome album or awesome ephemera to do some projects with? So yes, Amanda Christina, let me know if this is something you will use and I'll pop it in your box of goodies you've got to be shipped up. Um, some goodies that I purchased for her and some other things that I've been collecting. So I just love, I don't, I used to watch a little bit of Doctor Who but it wasn't really my thing but I do remember the Dalek and the TARDIS and I didn't really know there was different types of them so I learnt something in this book but oh, these images are just gorgeous. These are just gorgeous. And actually at the end has some colourful images as well which is really cool. I didn't know there was an Emperor Dalek. I don't even know whether it's real or not, whether it's, um, whether the different Daleks are real or not, you'll have to let me know because I thought they all looked like this. I don't know. I remember K9. I remember watching K9 in it. It's, it was really cool. Um, but I don't remember a bit of the back of the book. I just loved the imagery and it was a dollar so I picked it up. The Cyber Mat. Okay. So that is about my, all my op shop haul. And at the back you can actually photocopy this and make your own paper TARDIS which I thought was really, really cool. So, Amanda, you might even want to do that. That would be cool, wouldn't it? That'd make a good paper piercing project. So it's the blue post box from Doctor Who. That would be really cool to make. Oh, and there's a picture of it sort of going together. So cool. So let me know, Amanda. I vaguely remember you saying you liked Doctor Who. I may be wrong. If not, if I'm wrong, I will find someone else to send it to. I'll give it to. So leave a comment below. Um, so that's my little op shop haul. I don't do a lot of op shopping. Things are getting so expensive for op shopping. Um, but I do get out occasionally. Alexis and I might. We're about to be on school holidays or this may go up after our school holidays start. In April we get two weeks after Easter for our school kids holidays. Um, so I've got a few favourite op shops I don't get to very often because they're a bit more out of the way and they are usually the cheaper ones. But it is a bit of a lucky dip. But this all come to just under $9. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 I think it come to. So that was a pretty good score for $8.50. I will leave you there. Bye for now.